Hey, this is Chris Menard. In two minutes, I'm going to solve two problems that came up when I was at the Administrative Professional Day Conference at UGA. First one is if you make a chart out of this data, notice I have the 1st, 4th, 7th, and 10th. So there's my chart. The chart's correct except the days that don't have any numbers still show up in the chart. The way to get around that is to simply right click one of these dates. I know you can't see it because it's off my recording screen, but it says Format Axis at the very bottom. It pops up a task pane over here to the right. Watch what happens when I select text. Look at my dates, 1st, 4th, 7th, 10th. If I go back to automatic, they're all showing. So I'm going to leave it as text and close this. Issue number two, I'm going to insert a row. Sorry, I'm going to insert, yep. Perfect, insert a row. If you have the same date twice, so maybe we're also recording order number, but I don't have it on the screen, but you know what I'm saying. If you put in the same date twice, it'll only pick up the value for the very first one. So it's not picking up 50 because it's the highest number. It's picking it up because it's before the 20. So that should be 70. Even if I go back to format axis and make it automatic, still incorrect. So this chart is actually no good for me. I'm going to, with the same date twice, let's go to insert. I'm on sheet number two right now. I'm going to go make a pivot chart. It picks up my data range and I'm going to put it on a new worksheet and click OK and watch this. Date and drag first, fourth, seventh, tenth. The fourth is 70. So there you go. Uh, I came in under two minutes. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good week.